In our health alert tonight, how to avoid getting sick on a plane. Turns out your seat number can actually have something to do with it. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us here in the studio with where the best mm. spot is to sit mm. to avoid germs on a flight. What do you say, Doc? So, Dave, a new study finds where you sit and who is around you can actually make a difference when it comes to picking up those wonderful germs while on a plane. Picking the window seat, my favorite, and staying put for the duration of your flight minimizes your chances of coming into contact with a sick passenger. A window all the way here. <laughs> That's right. Well, Dr. Nora of Windsor asks, when I fly, I like the aisle seat, but my daughter prefers the window seat. Which seat exposes you to more germs or does it matter? Yeah, Glenn, I love our Windsor fans, so, so I have to agree with you, Nora. And as like your daughter, I'm a fan of the window seat, like I said. And it turns out, according to new research, that sitting by the window lowers your chance of picking up those nasty germs, while the aisle seat increases it. And that's because an aisle seat exposes you more to other passengers and the crew, especially as they all move around the plane. But there's a catch with the window seat, and that is that you need to stay put for the duration of the flight and not have a sick passenger sitting close to you while you're sitting there. Another of our Facebook followers, Jim Moffitt, commented saying, if you don't want to catch what others have, wear a mask and wash your hands. What do you think of this advice, doctor? You know, I think uh, Dave, Jim has great advice as washing your hands often and wearing a mask will really help minimize your chance of picking up those germs because respiratory illnesses are often spread when droplets are launched into the air when sick people sneeze and cough. And I know you and I showed that in the studio uh, about a month ago. I'd also suggest you avoid touching your face. That's a problem for me often, especially your eyes and mouth. And you can also ask others to move if someone is very close to you and appears to be sick. Don't be shy. Gail from Macomb also responded to our social media question, if flying raises the chance of getting sick, and she posted, of course it does. Confined cabin space, packed in like sardines, and sick people on board. Yeah, you hear that a lot. Gail's comment is not uncommon. A lot of people tell me that, but it's a widely held belief that traveling raises your risk. But this study found that passengers who are sick are likely not to infect maybe just two or other people if you're sick. And a sick crew member could possibly infect four or five other travelers. Overall, researchers found that the chance of infection on average was less than 3%. But you don't have to be a germaphobe to cringe at the sound of coughing or sneezing. Just uh, take precautionary steps to protect yourself against the cold and flu while flying. Now I'm on Facebook uh, live answering questions and I'll continue to do so if you have more questions as we finish. All right, Doc, and one of those questions, that circulating air in, uh, in airplanes, too. I'm sure that'll come up in your conversation. That blows Absolutely. right in your face yeah. there. All right, Doctor, thank you. Dr. Nandy joining us live here in the studio.